On July 8, 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matank disappeared in a field near the Varna airport in Bulgaria, and some of his last known moments were caught on video. What began as a carefree Eastern European vacation ended in a family's worst nightmare. And a mystery that endures to this day, Lars Matank, a 28-year-old from Berlin, Germany, joined his friends on a holiday to Bulgaria in 2014, but never made it back home. Years later, he was dubbed, quote, the most famous missing person on YouTube, end quote, as an airport security video of his last known sighting spread across the internet. He has never been found, despite millions of people viewing the Lars Matank video online. Moments before boarding his flight back home, Matank fled a busy airport in Varna. Suffering from a head injury he had sustained during a flight a few days back. He disappeared into the forest surrounding the airport, never to be seen again. And despite some compelling leads and his mother publicly pleading for information, the case appears to be no closer to being solved than it did the day he vanished. Lars Matank was born on February 9, 1986 in Berlin at the age of 28. He joined a handful of his school friends on a trip to Varna, Bulgaria. There, the group stayed at the Golden Sands Resort on the Black Sea coast. At one point during the trip, Lars Matank found himself involved in a bar fight with four men about which soccer club was better, SV Werder, Bremen, or Bayern, Munich. Matank was a Werder supporter, while the other four supported Bayern. Matank left the bar before his friends did, and they allegedly didn't see him again until the next morning. When Matank finally turned up at the Golden Sands Resort, he informed his friends that he had been beaten up. Different friends offered different accounts, which in turn featured different details. Some told authorities that Matank was beaten by the same group of men he clashed with inside the bar, while others claimed that the men had hired a local to do the job for them. Regardless, Matank walked away from the incident with an injured jaw and a ruptured eardrum. He eventually went to see a local doctor who prescribed him 500 milligrams of the antibiotic Ceprozil to prevent his wounds from becoming infected. He was also told to stay behind while his friends headed home because of his injury. Matank's friends offered to delay their return until he healed up, but he urged them not to and scheduled a later flight. He then checked into the hotel near the airport where he began exhibiting strange, erratic behavior. Hotel cameras captured Lars Matank on video, hiding inside the elevator and leaving the building at midnight only to return hours later. He called his mother and whispered that people were trying to rob or kill him. He also texted her asking about his medication and to block his credit cards. On July 8, 2014, Matank entered Varna Airport. He met with the airport physician to check up on his injuries. The doctor told Matank he could fly, but Matank remained anything but at ease. According to the physician, Matank looked nervous and asked him questions about the medication he was taking. The airport was undergoing refurbishment, and during Matank's consultation, a construction worker entered the office. Matank was overheard saying, quote, I don't want to die here. I have to get out of here, end quote, before getting up to leave. After dropping his belongings on the floor, he ran down the hall. Outside the airport, he climbed over a fence, and once on the other side, he disappeared into the nearby forest and was never seen again. According to Dr. Todd Grand, a certified mental health counselor who covered Lars Matank's disappearance on his YouTube channel, Matank had no history of mental illness. A popular theory is that Matank was looking for an excuse to run away and start a new life. Grand doubts this, however, because Matank was on good terms with his loved ones. His friends offered to reschedule their flight so he didn't have to fly back home alone, and he texted his mother throughout the trip. Matank also didn't take anything with him when he fled, leaving his passport, his phone, and wallet at the airport. Another theory holds that Matank was involved with some kind of criminal enterprise that neither his loved ones nor authorities knew about. Drug trafficking, perhaps? While this theory would explain why Matank was never found, there's little evidence to support it. Yet another possibility is that Matank really was killed. While staying behind in Bulgaria, he told his mother that he was being followed. Many online sleuths suspect that the men he fought with at the bar were still after him. If they were in pursuit, it could explain why Matank ran away. It also could explain why no one 
ever found his body. A fourth theory holds that Matank could have been under the influence of drugs around the time of his disappearance. A lot of people believe that Cefprozil, the antibiotic which Matank had been prescribed to treat his ruptured eardrum, possibly combined with another substance, might have led him to suffering psychotic episodes. Strange as it sounds, it's not impossible. Dizziness, restlessness, and hyperactivity are listed as common side effects of the drug. On top of that, studies suggest that acute psychosis could be, quote, potential adverse effect, end quote, of some antibiotics. This could explain how the behavior of someone with no history of mental illness could have changed so suddenly. If Matank was suffering from psychosis, the Cefprozil he was taking may have not even been its direct cause. In his video, Dr. Grant proposes Matank may have experienced, quote, first break psychosis or the onset of something like schizophrenia. This, he argues, would explain his paranoia, delusions, and anxiety. It could also explain the bizarre behavior displayed in Lars Matank's video on YouTube. While Dr. Grant thinks that the psychosis theory is the most convincing of the bunch, he stresses that it does not explain why Matank ran away or why his body was never found. The odds are against Matank being found at this point. Despite years of investigation from the BKA, Germany's Federal Criminal Police Office, Matank remains missing to this day. Every now and again, an internet troll amateur sleuth or concerned citizen who watched the Lars Matank video claims to have seen him somewhere in the world. Every year around 10,000 people go missing in Germany alone and although 50% of all missing persons cases are resolved within less than a week, less than 3% are actually found within a year. In 2016 police in Porto Velho, Brazil picked up a man with no identification and apparently no idea who he was. Once the image of the man recovering in the hospital circulated on social media. Online sleuths noted that he had similar features to Matank. The man was later identified as Anton Felipe of Toronto. He had been missing for five years. In 2019, a truck driver claimed to have given Matank a ride out of Dresden. The driver picked up a hitchhiker as he was leaving for the city of Brandenburg. On the way, he could not help but notice the passenger's resemblance to Lars Matank. The lead went nowhere. His mother has appeared on countless television and radio shows over the years as well, desperately trying to solve the mystery of Lars Matank's disappearance. Her pleas to find her son have been aired on both German and Bulgarian channels, but never produced any results. Undaunted, she continues to post messages on social media. A Facebook group, 41,000 people strong, called Find Lars Matank, also regularly posts and apparently design and post flyers in locations around Europe, all in an effort to find the world's most famous missing tourist. 